Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa here. Thanks for joining me for another card video on my YouTube channel and blog. In this video, I'm going to be creating this background with Bow Bunny Glitter Paste, Stamping Up Inks, and a Heidi Swap Stencil. I will also be using a Sizzix Daisy Stamp Set. I have all these products linked for you. Now, I've gone ahead and die cut my watercolor paper that I'm using and laid the stencil over it and adhered it down to my craft mat with some painter's tape. And I'm going to take my Calypso Coral ink from Stamping Up and just smoosh some of that down onto my craft mat. I'm going to take my glitter paste and add directly to that and start mixing it up. The glitter paste that I'm using is Bow Bunny Glitter Paste, and this is the sugar, and I thought this would be a fun way to use some of it up by adding some ink to it and coloring it. So you'll see me here lay that down, and I start mixing that into the color, and once I'm done, I'm just going to grab all of it up and start laying it across my stencil, working it back and forth just to make sure I cover all areas. So I'm only applying this to the lower portion of the card. I'm going to also be mixing up the saffron and Bermuda Bay colors to also add to this. A couple of things to remember while you're working with this is to make sure that you go back and forth with that paste so that you don't leave any white spots. And I always clean my mat and my plastic spatula off in between mixing the colors. So gently remove the painter's tape and then we're going to reveal our background. And this is where the magic happens. When that stencil's laying down, it doesn't look like much, but once you take the stencil off, you're really gonna see how those colors pop off of that white cardstock and it's very pretty. So I actually took my heat gun and heat set this a little bit. Um, I would hold my heat gun away from it and not get it too close to it, but you can use a little bit of heat to heat set that. So using my Mini Misty, I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto my die cut cardstock here, and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm also going to use my embossing buddy to lay some anti-static powder down so that when I lay down my clear embossing powder, I, it won't stick to my cardstock. So once I stamp my image, or my sentiment rather, th about three times, then I'm going to add my embossing powder and I'm going to heat set it. So I let that embossing powder cool off before I move to this next step. I grab my Mini Misty and my three flowers that I'm going to be stamping from my stamp set. I'm going to also be using the same inks I used to color the glitter paste in Calypso Coral, Saffron, and Bermuda Bay. I'm going to arrange my stamps where I want them to be stamped. And then I'm going to stamp them several times just to make sure I get a nice, crisp, stamped image. And then I'm going to move into adhering this to my card base. So I'm just cutting some light gray cardstock to mat our stamped card panel. Once we have that done, I'm going to add some fun foam to the stenciled card panel. And then I'm going to add some mini dots to the gray and adhere those to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold A2 card. Once we have that done, I'm going to take some 3D mounting foam and add to our stamped panel to go on top of that gray card stock. Once I have all of the, my layers um, adhere to my card base, I decide that I wanted to add some enamel dots to my flowers. So I grab my doodle bug matte enamel dots and I lay three coordinating enamel dots down in the center of the flowers. And that's pretty much it. This is a pretty quick card. The hardest part is just the cleanup of the glitter paste and that's not hard at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll join me again. Have a great day.